Hello everyone, this is Shannon with your Tech Talk version of this week. Today we are looking at the Droid Razor Max made by Motorola or Verizon. Let's open this thing up and see what we have. Comes in a nifty box and here is the phone. Let's take this thing out. There it is. Also in this box you get all kind of different things, like the cables and all that other stuff, which is not in there. I was using charge it. But here's the phone, and uh, let's turn it on right here. Here we are, the Droid Razor Max. Um, feels good in the hand, first impressions, and uh, it's a 4.3 inch screen. Let's unlock this thing. You can see what it looks like. Um, feels very nice it's a little heavier than the droid razor from before and as you can see if you i don't know if you remember the droid razor had a little hump right here pronounced hump in this side where the cameras were this one doesn't as much and i kind of like this where it's slim and almost is a little bit of it right there but not too much but very nice um this uh, max uh like i said comes with a 4.3 inch screen uh, it has a dual core 1.2 gigahertz processor in it and it is a 4g lte device um, it is running um, gingerbread right now android operating system and it can be upgraded to ice cream uh, the one good thing about this that makes this phone stand out among the, the rest is its battery it has a 3300 milliamp our battery in it and uh, it could last forever so um, anyway it has an 8 megapixel camera on the back right over here and uh, it has one on the front and I don't remember what the megapixel was on the front here I'm trying to remember what that was but anyway it uh, does have both dual cameras and um, it, uh, it's a very after a few days working using this it's very good uh, very cool device with the 4G speed. Uh, you can download all kind of stuff on the internet pretty fast. Um, and uh, I've used it a lot to download YouTube videos, stuff off apps and stuff like that, which is really, really cool. Um, and so uh, it's, it's a very nice device. It feels good. Uh, the pros on this phone, I would say, would be the size of it. It feels very good in the hand. Um, the battery life, of course, will last you, it said, more than 21 hours of talk time on a single charge, but there you go. It depends on how you use it. And the 4G LTE uh, capability of this phone, which also has a hotspot. Uh, the cons on this phone, I would say, would have to be, it's about the same uh, as a Razer, other than the battery. It's about the same screen size, same kind, same details of the display. Uh, other than the battery, it's about the same as a Razer. Um, it uh, has uh, a long charge time. If you have to charge it from where it's about 10% left on the battery life, it takes a pretty good long time to charge up all the way, I've noticed. So, other than that, uh, it's a really cool device. Um, it has all kind of different apps already set on your uh, device now. Uh, the camera works really well. Uh, I've used uh, some apps on this to get some video in, uh, which is uh, really cool uh, to use. So I do have to say this phone's a really nice phone. Uh, it is available now uh, through Verizon for $300 on a two-year contract. And um, it does they do require a monthly data fee as well. So hope you enjoy this uh, review of the Droid Razor Max. I'm Shannon with Tech Talk. Thanks for watching and have a great day.